Well hello and welcome to a kooky corner of YouTube. Uh, just a disclaimer if you hear a weird noise like that, <laughs> it's not my stomach. <laughs> it's my lovely hot water bottle. Yes I've got a hot water bottle in my lap and I'm not ashamed to get the heat from it. <laughs> it's, it's lovely and warm actually at the minute. So yeah if you hear weird noises it's not me honest. Okay so I said last week that I was going to do the swatching of these lovely combo boxes which I'm going to do now. I do intend to do um, a needle felting video pretty soon and I'll just give you a little sneak peek hopefully sneaking in. We're going to make some of these little guys, these little brooches, needle felter brooches. So keep your eyes appealed for that one because that's coming up shortly. But I just wanted to get this one in. Again, I didn't manage to get a video on Tuesday life. Um, but here we are. This is where we are. And so I'm going to have a go at swatching these boxes now. What I want to do, hopefully, is to uh, swatch onto some of the paper that they give you in the box. So let me put a little reference up there so I can see which box I am working with. So the first one I'm going to do is the... Uh, let's do the September 21st box first, which is this one, I think. Yeah, this one. Let's, let's move these out of the way. So paper of choice that we got in this box. Let's take all the goodies out. And we have some of this denim paint on mixed media. I have to say I was super impressed as I said with the uh, one that was in the previous box and bought myself two more pads of it because I really liked it so much. Hopefully I'll say the same for this one. Uh, so just grabbing myself out sheet of paper nice and thick. So it is the um, Paint On Mixed Media Multi Techniques Denim Blue. Um, it's kind of like a denim-y grey blue, to be perfectly honest. Uh, this is the A5 sheet, it's £115, and there's 10 of these in the box, so plenty to have a go at. And I just thought I'd take one out so that we can swatch on it. Swatching on it. Repositioning my microphone sorry people having a moment there there we go that's better so what we're going to do first let's have a look at how the pit artist pens uh, sorry the pit graphite pencils look on here so the 6b that comes up quite nicely shows it beautifully on this blue paper Great. And this one is the infamous 14B. Again, very nice. Get a nice lot of shades and tones with that one. Um, then we've got the gold faber, the faber castell again, which is the white. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's nice. I'm kind of really impressed with that. Sometimes white pencils just don't do it for me, but this one is looking lovely. So I like that. That's good. Um, we don't need to test out the blending stump, do we? No, maybe not. Let's have a look at this art graph. So uh, I presume you can use this as is and also with water. Oh, we'll, we'll try it. Have a little look at destructions. Yeah, water soluble. So nice, 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 like a pastel, chalky pastel. Mm, interesting, interesting. Uh, let's try a swatch with some water. Shall I bring you a bit further down? Maybe that might help. There you go. Let's have a try with some water. So let's put that away a minute. 
I know that you can actually, sorry about my arm there, I know that you can actually dip <laughs> the chalk into water, but I would fear that it would um, all come apart on me in a bad way. So I'm not going to do that. But I am going to test out. <gasps> oh, oh, I like. Yes. <laughs> um, I think you can see art graph coming up in my future. <laughs> I'm not an art uh, supplies addict, but that is, I, I need to do that again. Just, just a minute. <laughs> I'm here for the beautiful art graph. Oh, you can kind of make it. See, that one was kind of, it dries down to. Uh, so the more you use water, obviously the little bit of water makes it more vibranty. More water will make it more muted. I like that. I'm liking that. So it's inspired by traditional tailor's chalk. Art, art graph tailor shape is a rich pigment block designed for drawing and painting. Cool. Well, I see more of these in my future. I do appear to have it all over my fingers now, but yeah. This is a hazard of using art supplies. Just have to be prepared to get a little bit down and dirty. Whoop, get that back in there. Cool. So that's the art graph. Right, onto the little box tricks. Let me take my brush out of the water. Excuse my arm again. Um, be a good artist. <laughs> Leave that to rest over there on its dirty rag. Oop, I'm dripping water everywhere as well. Never fear, we're into the supplies. So these are the Derwent graphite and also charcoal blocks. I've got water everywhere now. Okay, okay. So this is... nice i'm presuming that's the lightest version i'm gonna get this all on my fingernails aren't i and a better way of getting it out oh yeah yeah that was a lighter one that's a medium one i should do bigger swatches shouldn't i <laughs> <laughs> just tell me you know oi kooky get them swatches made bigger Oh, I feel myself getting messy and I like it. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, we can do this. So that's the medium in one. Oh yeah. You can get quite a nice um, line with the corner or the edge. Oh, that's a dark one, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, feeling this. Oh yeah. Okay. So those are the charcoal. Let me do a wipey down of fingers. I'm not usually so precious, but I just don't want to make a mess of everything. And I fear that I may. <laughs> oh no, now I'm spreading it all over my desk. Oh no, never mind. Right, let's try these graphite sticks, which I hope would be a little bit more uh, staying in one place. Oh yeah. That's cool, you can get a nice line. Can you do a sideways swipe? Mm, maybe if you pressed hard enough. Yeah, kind of like those, that's good. Let's have a go with this one. Okay, so it's kind of different shades and tones going on here, which is nice. Yeah. So I feel that with this set you could actually produce something pretty decent. Um, yeah, really, really liking that. Let's have a look at the artist's work that uh, Robert Dutton produced. Um, I'm look in the zine again. It's kind of like that, that there. So if you click on, let's show you. So on this paper, 
you can get some results as beautiful as that. I will be doing some works from these. Uh, this is just purely swatching out. So that one was the September 21 scroll box. Tested out, looking good. It's something that I don't really do often enough, which is to work in a monochrome fashion. Although you've got this beautiful background paper. So looking forward to having a go at that. And I will show you what I do when I do it. Moving swiftly on to the February 22 scrawler box, which is something I've been looking forward to trying, have to say. I'm trying not to muffle my microphone. I'm also wearing a scarf. Not only have I got a hot water bottle, uh, let me show you. Let me show you this beauty. You can hear the squelching noises. It's Moomins. Yes, love Moomins. So, um, Got moving on there and this is the paper we're going to be working on it is a gold line again Claire Fontaine aqua pad aquarelle watercolor aquarelle that's the paper that we have to work with 10 sheets of this very generous with the sheetage I think um, so you've got plenty to play with and also gives me an opportunity to swatch out. I don't actually want to swatch out on all of this so I grab my trusty guillotine which is on its last legs. I do need to get another one but for now because I don't want to use all of it. I'm being a bit precious about but I don't want to waste the whole sheet. So let's cut it in half. and use a heart for the swatching <laughs> Sorry. I keep turning around I keep forgetting that I'm wearing a microphone and it could muffle at any point in time let's pop that out of the way okay so let's have a look at these beautiful Derwent pastels I'll be looking forward to this heck <laughs> a pair of scissors is what's required if I was prepared oh no it does have a tear bit ah look see not as hard as I was making out stick that over there put the scissors away okay so we've got one of these jelly roll which I have shown you before I do believe it won't show up on this white paper un until you know we start using it. Let's turn this around to the side. I don't know which way to do this. Let's do it this way. <laughs> Can't make my mind up. Okay, so the first one is lemon. Ooh, it's quite creamy. Oh yeah, like this. Yeah. And I can make that much more vibrant. Lovely. The next one is a peach. Oh, I think I'm going to fall in love with these actually. I do really like working with pastels yes i do pastel colors and so as i say i nearly, nearly bought this before i actually got one in a box so um yeah looking forward to creating some artwork with this this is a coral pink which is a very pretty pretty pink yeah that's nice Let's make it a bit more vibrant at this end. Liking that. We have Pink Flamingo. Great name for the next one. They do wet up rather well. They do, they do. Okay, Pink Flamingo. Yes. I will bring this closer to camera. I, know, I do feel that the daylight I'm getting through my window at the minute is kind of dodgy. 
Uh, we have had beautiful sunshine today, but it's it's decided to disappear. And I'm, I'm kind of glad in one way, because in one way it makes everything bleached out, but in another way it does add some extra lighting. Orchid pink for your delectation is the next one we have. Like that one also. This is going to make a fabulous piece when I get around to well, <laughs> my artistry, I don't know, but I'm going to enjoy ma making something with these, definitely. This is lavender. Lovely, lovely, lovely lavender. And the palette itself is glorious. It's one you could actually just take out and use as is. You know, it's it's got a water brush and I am just literally not using the water brush because I don't tend to. When, I've got, when I'm at my desk, I'm not going to use a water brush because I like to be able to control, if I can, the amount of water that I am using. So I do like water brushes and they do have their place, but I'm quite happy to keep that in there and use it when I'm out and about so to speak, but not specifically when I am at my desk as I am at the moment. Turquoise is the next one. Did I say the last one was cornflower blue? I can't remember. <laughs> this one is turquoise. Oh, that's nice. I do like a good turquoise, have to say. Um, they feel really nice on this paper as well. They're going down quite nicely. So like that a lot. Okay, we're on to the greens now. So the first one is mint. I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. <laughs> like all of them, aren't I? Of course I am. Beauteous. I have to try and decide what I'm going to paint with this set. Um, if you've got any ideas of what you want me to have a go at with this particular set of um, paints, then do let me know. I know there is a challenge that goes with this box, but if you want me to do something specific, drop me a little note. I'll try to accommodate. Okay, artichoke is the next one. That is nice. Uh, it's not especially what I would call a pastel colour, but I think it goes very well with this set. And I think you do need to have some kind of not complete pastel shade in order to get mixes going, perhaps, and to add some... Um, tone, tonal value. Storm Grey, again, is going to be one of those kind of neutral colours that you can mix in and give yourself some nice combinations with. So that's a nice neutral. It's kind of a warm grey, I would say, this one. And I think the silver blue, which is the last one, is going to be kind of like a cooler. Oh yeah. So that's a cooler grayish, bluish gray neutral. Again. So let's hold it up. So you can see the beauteous colors. Very nice. I'm looking forward to working with this one. Let me pop that over there to dry. So I don't like to put my watercolours away until they've just dried off a little bit. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this is the May 22 um, Squirrel Box. Again, something I'm really excited to try because it's something I've wanted for a long time. Um, first off, we had this um, kneadable eraser. Love that. I like the fact it's yellow, interesting to see how that looks. Uh, we have a Pentel Side Effects a Mechanical Pencil. We have this beautiful uh, number eight 
brush which is kind of like a cat tongue let me take that off that so you can see can you see that can you see that yeah there <laughs> it was hate putting these back on do not like let's see if i can stretch it out there we go don't want to damage the brush there we go okay so the paper we've got this time it's another watercolor paper it's an hp watercolor paper i don't know the company uh let's have a look see if it says on here it says west a5 west hot press watercolor paper pad and this one it says it's a hot press uh, yeah probably a bit different to the one we last tried again I'm going to do the same thing let's get a sheet out put out a sheet put that over there trusty guillotino come to me let's do a slicey <laughs> oh blimey I need more room on my desk this means I have to tidy always it always gets to critical point where you have to tidy and i think i'm there i'm already there uh, the whole studio is due for an overhaul at some point just literally not like a, as in making it different but just <laughs> tidying it up and getting rid of things and just making a general uh, less mess around the place first of all let's have a go with this pen uh it's a clicky pen pencil should I say nice it's a mechanical pencil I do love them saves the need for sharpening when you are wanting to get something quick down I always put my points back in before I store them <laughs> I uh, number one don't want to get stabbed by unsuspectingly by a pencil when I go into them <laughs> just happened before um, so speaks the voice of experience here Okay, these are the beautiful peerless watercolours I have been dying to test. I'm just going to use a very small corner. I made a mess last time. I think it's off this one. I'm just going to oh, clear up mess later. Okay, let's see. Ooh, what was this one? This one is uh, Arlie's Opera. So I'm presuming this is like an opera pink. Did you see that? I just literally touched the corner and you have this most supremely uh, vibrant color. Oh my gosh. A little goes a long, long, long way with these. I did remember that from when I read up about them previously. Um, so yeah, let's pop that one over to dry. Um, when you take these out, what I suggest you do with them is to, instead of taking out a whole sheet, cut yourself off a little bit, stick it on a piece of cardboard, then you've got a whole palette to work from, which is what I intend to do with these. The next one is Jacqueminon Red. Ha ha. So let's try this one. Doesn't look red, does it, on the sheet? Let's try that corner. Oh, wow. I am not disappointed with these, I have to say, absolutely not. They are blooming glorious. Oh, wow. This is what I've been missing. <laughs> They're glorious. I love them. I do have some of the Viviva ones and they match up quite well, but I'm just saying that these have been on my list since year dot. I've wanted to get my hands on these to play with them for so long and here they are this one is a, an alizarin red i'm still managing to get things everywhere hey ho right small dotage in corner oh <laughs> it's just going to be me isn't it again just me going oh art supplies yes but these are glorious the peerless watercolor sheets oh my god love 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 <sighs> what can i say this one is alice blue 
I love the fact that you've got this sheet. You've kind of got an idea from the back what colour you're going to get, but when you put it on, you never really know until it comes up. Oh, that's beautiful. Alice Blue. Look how vibrant these are. You literally just need a touch on that paper and you are in heaven with, well, I am. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm in heaven. I'm loving it. Next one is a turquoise blue. Kind of going to be like that. I hope it is. It's as vibrant as that. I'll be a happy bunny. Oh, look. Lush colour. That is so nice. Oh, my goodness. Vibrancy heaven. This next one. Got my fingers in it. Peacock blue. Was it was it the mighty Boosh who sang the song Peacock Dreams? I think it was. I kinda think it was. I've been having a mighty Boosh moment. Oh I would say this is not blue but green. I definitely call this a it's like a viridian, but it, it's peacock blue on here. But I'm I'm still loving the colour. Really like that. Lovely. <sighs> peacock blue. Then we have the next one which is Mountain Green. Let's wipe off my brush. Ooh, now that is a nice green. I like that. It's kind of sprucey, piney. <laughs> sprucey and piney, Christmassy greenery. I like it. Okie dokie. Go over to your little drying off corner. Okay. This one is Heliotrope. Oh, as I say, oh, oh, wow. Just literally touch that into the corner and you have this glorious colour. Well, some of these are going to mix really well, you know, I, I just have to say. This is going to be great. I'm running out of space to dry. Uh, let's put it there. Okay, next one is Ecru. Touch it in the corner. Oh, yes. Lovely. kind of nice and I like that it's like mustard I love a bit of a, a mustardy colour let's pop that over there try and line them up on there I think these last few this one is Gamboge yellow another one of my absolute favourite yellows um, I have I've got a Daniel Smith Gamboge yellow and I love it I'm dripping water everywhere like a fool that's Oh, yeah, two of my favourite yellowy colours here. I'm not a lemon yellow fan. I do believe I've said this before on this channel. <laughs> if someone can prove me wrong, give me a decent lemon yellow. I know they're a good mixing colour. I do that. I, I do know that, but it's not my favourite. Bismarck Brown. Let's give that one a go. Oh, that's a nice brown. I like that. Very rich. Beautiful brown. I like that one. Lovely. Then the last one is a neutral grey. Neutral tint, sorry, not neutral grey. Neutral is always a great to have on your team. 
again I have in my watercolour set I've got a Daniel Smith oh oh <laughs> oh oh this has got like a violety it's a bit if you think Daniel Smith moon glow but without the um granulation I think that's that's as close as that comes to that colour well to say I'm impressed with those is an understatement. Look at those colours. Look at them. They are beautiful. And I'm so happy to have had a try of these um, peerless watercolour sheets because, as I say, they've been on my list for so long. A crazy amount of time. I think the first person I saw using them had to be Jane Davenport, I think, many moons ago. And I think she also then brought out her own set of peerless colours that you could buy. But I couldn't, I, I couldn't afford to buy them. I couldn't afford the shipping from Australia. But the, <laughs> they've hung in the back of my mind for so long. And I'm just so pleased that Squirrel Box brought them into a box and I am now fulfilled in my desire to try them out. <laughs> and I love the choice of colours. I have to say that these colours are beautiful. Almost exactly my colour palette that I would choose if I were picking. So I am a very lucky person. Anyway, that concludes a swatching session for uh, this video. I have got lots of plans people. I really do. As I say, I've got needle felting ideas. I've got quick Christmas ideas. I've got uh, more painting. I've got more scrawler boxes. I've got challenges. I don't know how I'm going to fit it all in. <laughs> I've also got coming up pretty soon and I think it's next week. There's going to be uh, my top 10 favourite supplies of 2022, which is a good watch for people who are hoping to buy for their loved ones if their loved ones are artistically bent creative wise um, there may be a few surprise ones in there um, but basically i think it's mainly art supplies uh, but there may be some needle felting supplies in there as well yeah i don't know shall i mix it up shall i mix it up and make a mixed supply version or do you want a separate art supplies and then other things let me know have a have a word with me in the comments put me straight tell me what you'd like to see uh, but i do intend to do a definite art supply one so if you'd like to see one of my needle felting ones um, or like supply wise for my embroidery and needle felting combined let me know in the comments and i'll do my best to comply Anyway, have a brilliant weekend. Um, enjoy um, your, I think a lot of you have been having Thanksgiving. We don't celebrate here in the UK, but um, happy Thanksgiving to all of you beauties out there in the USA and Canada. I do believe Canada do theirs in October though, so past Thanksgiving to you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but yes, have a great weekend. See you very, very shortly with more things. Have a good one and take care of yourselves. Bye for now.